Hello, welcome back to our channels. My name is Alan and my channel is Conscious Evolution. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica and my channel is It's About Divine Time. Beautiful. So how's everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing super fantastic. We are doing great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we just felt compelled to, to do a video here today and we were talking about a lot of different things that we can talk about and uh, we decided we were going to create a series possibly with that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good times. So today we're just going to do a reading. Yeah, and, energy rating. And, you know, let whatever consciousness flows, flow. And just go from there. So, I was shuffling right before I started recording the video, and we got this transformation card. This card has come out in every single reading that I've done in the last two weeks. So Same. I think we're kind of going through a transformation. And so are all of you. It, this is Indeed. This is the death card. Oh. Transformation is a death card. See how she's holding on to that mask? And she's kind of looking upward, kind of a little bewildered, just like I said in my other reading that I just posted. <laughs> um, she's gone through a major metamorphosis, and she's never going back to being a caterpillar again. Yeah. Can I get a hallelujah for that? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> She's not going to be a caterpillar anymore. You know, all that time in the cocoon was kind of rough, a little sticky, <laughs> a little gooey. <laughs> and now it's time to move on with the eight of wands that just came out. It's going through this major transformation and also going through a transformation while traveling. This could be metaphorically. Um, it could be interdimensionally. I You could be astral projecting when you do meditations um, some kind of travel where you're like really having fun with it. Um, definitely having an experience that's new to you is what I'm getting. And it's allowing that old mask to fall away. And I believe it's like many masks because we're multidimensional. So sometimes we create a mask for all different um, ways that we want to project um, an experience. <clears throat> situations with people or life and it's like kind of like a, that's coming up for review but you're also like releasing it at the same time so good on you definitely a great job what do you think about that yeah indeed it is transforming it's it's and it's letting go of the things that aren't serving you anymore you know that's why these things are coming up for review in your life it's to 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 show you like you know this is what I've noticed in our path is like it's constantly evolving. You're constantly shifting your perspectives on on how you see things, and when things come up for review, you know if something's playing in your mind over and over again. It's like you know that's the thing that's maybe troubling you. It, that's what it is for me, anyways. It, it it comes up and it's like something that may trigger me, and you know triggers are blessings, even though you may not see it in yeah, the time. Yeah, activations. You know, active yes, activations. I really like that. So it's it's to it's to let things go, oftentimes, or to change how you see it, so it doesn't affect you anymore when you're faced with that trigger or blessing. So the next card that just came out while she was talking, which is also a card I've been getting a lot, Sacrifice. The Hangman. The Hangman. Mm-hmm. Look at that. So two major arcanas right off the yeah. off jump. And that's also a progression, too. I love it. I love it. She's like sitting in these murky waters, and she's got this little throw that's kind of falling apart. So she's like kind of been through the ringer with this transformation here she's really putting that work in and it's like the the rainbow's coming up and now it's like the light above it's it's she's reaching up into the light coming out of those murky waters it's really beautiful it's like it's like you're doing good you 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 are progressing through your triggers progressing through these whatever it may be for you that's coming up for review and you're getting through those and and you're you're going towards the light you know you're you're working in compassion and love and you're you're just you're really growing right now and that's that's awesome good for you 
yeah, working through this transform transformational process, allowing the death of the old program. Mm -hmm. So the way, you know, triggers programs, however you want to perceive it, but make it a beneficial to you. That's why she has this rainbow here. So she's going through it. She's having these experiences, but getting receiving this divine consciousness and enlightenment during her transformational process. In doing so, it's taking her away from missing out on, well, this would be you, you know, you're, it's taking away from, um, thank you. Like the universe is making an offer with this four of cups. All right. And this is going to, there's a cup here where the universe is offering it to you. And then you're, you've got these other three cups behind you, but you're not really paying attention to any of it. So there's like all these opportunities, divine guidance here with the three birds on the card. And you're just kind of missing out on it because of the way you were looking at it before. But now you're seeing it differently because this is of the high priestess. And you're transform like going through this death and, and experiencing this hangman. So you're 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 seeing it in a different way. So now you're seeing it as a blessing and a gift, and it's really gonna take you forward fast with this eight of wands. Um, trust your intuition at this time, big time with the high priestess here. Um, definitely your inner knowing is your guidance. So if you're having an experience where you're getting triggered, examine it with love. Um, see it as an activation. A lot of the star seeds, light workers, way showers, frontliners, um, grid keepers, magicians, which is whatever you resonate with mm -hmm. <laughs> are being activated right now. And there's like a physical release, because if you think about it as a physical release, like when you emerge from the cocoon, that's very physical, right? And it's kind of painful. It's like a birth. So you're, wow. you're experiencing all this physical pain right now as well, while you're releasing and purging what is no longer serving you, because you want to accept this cup from the universe up here, right? It's like, coming in on a cloud here. It doesn't get any better than mm -hmm. that, right? So you're releasing this not noticing at all and starting to see the blessings instead of trying to judge it or assign some kind of meaning or whatever like you did in the past. You're observing that thought process as it comes up. So that's what's going on. And as you do that, you're probably alone. You, you could be like, or spending time with people that are also psychic. And in like, for us, it's for, well, for, I'll speak for myself. And like, <laughs> um, like for me, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, because when you come with, into contact with someone that also carries a high vibrational frequency, and you haven't been around people like that in a while, as you, most of you know, if you don't, I was in hermit mode for three years, October 1st it was. But we got together September 8th, right? Something like that. Yeah. Sixth. September 6th. So we've been together a little over a month and there's been a lot of stuff coming up for me personally, definitely. Um, and But I'm transmuting it pretty quickly because I'm observing it from a different place. So this resonates for me deeply too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like when when you when the universe puts new people in your path, there's a reason for every relationship, every person that you meet, there's a purpose for it, you know. Um and it shows you things in a different light than you maybe not had seen before or allows you or affords you that opportunity to see it in a different light if you should choose to do so. Indeed. What about your experience so far since we've been hanging out? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's been pretty awesome, actually. It's been like, you know, for those of you who know that I've been on a vision quest for a little over two months now since I left California. And I spent a lot of time with myself, you know, really, really thinking about what I wanted to do with my life moving forward here. And... You know, just I spent a lot of time alone, and I met a lot of people from my uh, that I've met through my YouTube channel, which has been quite fascinating, and it just continues going on. But you know, since since we we met up, it's really it it really is. I've seen you grow extremely, like like 
I've never seen anyone transmute through so many things so quickly. It's really quite impressive. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. But, like, I can't even describe it. It was monumental changes, like, from, you know, within the first couple of days. Maybe, yeah, within the first week, I think we worked through a lot of <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> I think it was pretty intense. But um, It was fun, too, though. Yeah. It was fun, too. It was a little scary at times for me, like with certain mannerisms that he had, but then it grew on me really quick <laughs> because I was alone for so long, you know, but then, but all, we just like instantly went into having fun. We were traveling. People were being drawn to us. We did some crazy shit along the way mm. and we're still just open to the process. Very grateful for everything that we're experiencing right now. And, um, just like this card says, expressing love, just plain and simple, you know, it's, it's time to express your love and be around people that you can express yourself around, you know, being grateful, being generous, being happy, having fun, letting your inner child out to play. It's deeply healing when you can be around people that you can be yourself around where you're not being judged or ridiculed or criticized. And then when that stops, you know, then you realize how much you're doing it to yourself. Mm. And you're like, wow, I'm really talking a lot of shit to myself. Right. <laughs> and I need to just look at that and give it love, more love. Right. Keep giving it love. And with love and openness and, you know, pushing through the judgments and the fears and the blame and the shame and all, you know, it's going to come up quickly to be released because it's time for you to step into your mission. It's time for you to step into your purpose. That's why these clearings happen. And, and it's also cyclical, too, because, you know, when we get this uh, with these light codes from these higher dimensional energies, which is within our consciousness as well. Just, you know, so you don't believe that you're separate from it because you're not. Um, <clears throat> you know, if like Venus were to just, you know, blaze us with the love energy, we could get it, it could be a little overwhelming. So in this third dimensional experience and physical form that we are in human bodies, um, it, it's a cyclical process so that we can handle it. Mm. Um, but yeah, just, you know, express yourself. Um, be open and open up even more and more and more as you go. Like letting those little walls you built up, like look how gigantic this mask is that she's holding. You know what I mean? Like that's a pretty big mask. Mm -hmm. So it's like, she's just like, just like about to release it. Right. It's just like going to let it go. So that's a, a strong message here is to let go and allow yourself to fly like these eight of wands, express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know, you don't have to restrict your love to just one person either, you guys and girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be open with your love. Be open to expressing love. You don't have to assign your love to specific people or anything. Love yourself big and love others big as well. Indeed. Indeed. So, I really like this card. This came out. Obstacles and challenges. Am I getting zoom? There we go. This is awesome. So it's like spirits guiding you. It's like spirits lighting the way. It's like he's in this in this cave almost, and he's walking across this little path over this huge fall. So it's like it's like trusting in 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 spirit. You know, having that faith and and allowing it to guide you through this. So with your transformation and and with your love, you know, love what comes up, whatever comes up love it you know and, and like she said love it big you know really really go in there <laughs> really get in there <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> so it's like your healing journey and it, this it, card came up in my reading too all these oh yeah 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 i had this one the other day too and this it's one. the five of wands so it's like overcoming any kind of lower vibrational energies pettiness mm. stuff like that too so just to Interesting. Add that in there. Yeah. Depicted on traditional tarot, it's usually like a bunch of people are fighting with their wands, you know, hitting each other with it. And this is about overcoming that energy and moving away from it because we have um, a little bit of a progression going on here too, but I'm not going to bring it up till you. Yeah. Yeah. And our next guy right here, <laughs> stand your ground. And that's the seven of wands. Oh, yeah. So we have five, seven, eight. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Go for it. Okay. 
So this is about like, okay, see that big orb? He's standing up. He's got his wand. But he's doing so in a way where he's being um, guided by spirit. Spirit is lighting the way and he's leading the way too. But he's doing from a place of self-empowerment, um, not the judgment or the blame or the shame or any of that. It's like being a leader by teaching other people how to be leaders. And then also learning together how to be leaders, right? Because that's what we do. We're always constantly learning and growing and overcoming these challenges by being throwing open. Throwing cards on the floor. Yeah. And <laughs> it's throwing cards around. Um, facing these challenges, but being open while doing it, letting a spirit guide you. Because, you know, this is a lot of purple energy here. Um, but yeah, so it's a spiritual color, the border. And these are very spiritual cards in this deck. And it's about being willful and powerful and innovative um, having the courage to step into the leadership role, being balanced. Um, you've gone through making choices and partnerships and reflecting, um, gone through the chaos, right? Because fives can be about chaos and conflict, gone through all that stuff. And then making the spiritual assessment here. I just want to make sure I was playing the right <laughs> Um Making the spiritual assessment, using our inner awareness. Um, <clears throat> by knowing that some of this energy is karmic and it needs to be cleared karmically, right? Karmic is a, just a general word, not like really. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, technically every relationship you have is a karmic relationship if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be assigned to any particular relationship. But this is about having the wisdom to be courageous and to create your own success it's mm. so moving away from that programming of like i need this to be successful or happy or yeah anything yeah yeah and it's knowing that oneness in love and abundance and being open to growth when you're open to your own growing process no one can use anything against you let me say that again anything <laughs> that you heal within yourself and anything that <clears throat> you overcome within yourself that you don't punish yourself for anymore. All right. You give yourself all this love, give the other people love to when they're struggling instead of shaming and blaming and all that. When you overcome that within yourself, no one can use it against you ever again. And I have a lot of experience with that, with major key players in my life, people that I love and and loyal to, um, at a really deep, profound level. And it, it taught me how to let go and see this in a different way to go through the transformation. So many of you are going through that right now. You could be dealing with family members that just aren't understanding or they're, they're not, they're going through a deep healing process too. And maybe where they're at isn't jiving where you're at, but that's all right. You know, let's not judge them. Let's not blame them. Let's just remove ourselves from that and allow them to come around when they want to plant the seed, but you don't have to watch it grow. Yes. Very well said. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's do a lesson card. All right. I feel like that's going to be really beneficial for this reading because there's a lot of growth and transformation. So somebody out there is going to need this message. That's what Spirit was telling me. Okay. Not need message. it in a way that's it's separate from it's you, but it's going to activate your subconscious and bring it to forward to your conscious mind to help you heal, grow, and love yourself. Because we are mm. self-healers. All of us are. Oh, yeah. Spend a day with God. Oh. Spend a day with spirit. Group message. <laughs> Today's lesson. This is a day for you to spend with God. A day of prayer. A day of silence. Imagine that your entire world is a sacred chapel. Every inch of your life is filled with grace and the presence of the divine. Your goal, to visualize yourself in the company of heaven every minute of the day. Yeah. Wow. We are gods and goddesses incarnate. Yeah. So knowing that you are God, I mean, you're pretty much unstoppable. And so is everyone that you know. And it's about awakening to that and um, honoring that within ourselves and not playing small anymore. We don't have to play small. That was just a program, right? We don't have to do the lack and the fear and the blame and the shame and all that. It's it's this energy that we are in, that we are anchoring down as light workers, way showers, greed keepers, uh, all the spiritual people 
if whether you're a tarot reader or an energy healer or a Reiki master or I mean anything, you could be a sound healer. No matter what you're doing, you are you are anchoring these light codes in from these higher dimensional consciousness. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep expressing your love. You don't have to play small. You don't have to hide under a rock or under this murky water, whether it's other people. Because remember that anything that we're dealing with at an external level is something that's going on within too. So when we can make it about ourselves and stop making it about other people, then we become free. And then mm -hmm. you can really allow yourself to heal. You could be carrying stuff around for like 20 years and not realize it. But as soon as you start making it about you, even if you course correct in the moment, this transformation will occur rapidly. And that's what many of us are going through right now is <clears throat> shedding that energy. Like it's time to really step into my power. I don't have to play small anymore to appease this situation and with whoever, you know, I'm going to be me. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to overcome these obstacles and challenges and I'm not going to be bored where I'm at anymore because I'm going to fly. Mm. You know, I'm going to fly. And it's then the rainbow. Fly. Yeah. And the rainbow shines upon you when you do that. Then magic occurs. And we are a living example of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so um, we've made a lot of choices that most people, you know, that if you, I don't want to say most people, spirits like, no, <laughs> <laughs> um, we've, over, we've overcome a lot of stuff recently and we've made a lot of choices that a lot of people might be too afraid to experience or um to express within themselves and we want you to know that you can do it and you know let us be an example to you you know even if you like say you have no money in this now moment or whatever stop telling yourself you have no money in this now moment or like i mean it could be anything do you have anything to add to that yes you yeah. do yes you do i you mean do. that's you like just it's, it's it's a mindset you know abundance is a mindset or the lack thereof is a mindset you know that's that's, Fire! that's <laughs> it's it's what you choose if you choose to perceive yourself of that way even though your bank account may reflect zero dollars or very little money or less money than you think you should have that's fine it doesn't mean you're not abundant you know if if that's the case focus on the things that are abundant in your life focus on the love that you have in your life the love that you have for yourself or you know, whatever it is, the abundance of the grass outside. It could literally be every anything. The universe is abundant by nature. Everything. There's you can always find something. If not, then create the abundance within yourself of gratitude and and, and love for yourself. Because that just will be good. <laughs> yeah, and if you're not in that place right now, focus on healing your health, focus on healing your emotions. Um, and focus on healing your energy, you know, and Alan does a lot of energy work and he'd be happy to work with you. Indeed. Um, and I would as well. So, you know, if you would like to work with us, let us know. We'd be definitely of service to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's time to step into your power by expressing your love. Mm -hmm. Express your love to yourself, you know, wherever you're playing small release it love it yep and fly and soar fly. and always remember that we're always surrounded by the divine whether you are aware of it or can perceive of it or not you're always surrounded by a team of angels mm -hmm. or your guides or god however you know insert term here whatever works for you whatever resonates for you and spend that day with god Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do a wild offering oracle card. And I think mm. it's going to be that one that just didn't get picked up. All right. Clarity. <laughs> Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways. What he was just talking about, basically, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Mm. Do you want to go, go gadget? Go, go gadget. <laughs> yeah. Trust yourself. You have to trust yourself. Start trusting yourself. If you're confused, you're holding on to something that is no longer serving you. That will create confusion because your intuition is your higher self is channeling through you. But your 3D self is like, but I want to make it happen in this time and this place with this person or whatever it is. Expectations. Yes. And you want to let that go 
and be like, all right, I'm just going to be open to the process. And that's when the clarity comes. Rest, retreat, rejuvenate if you need to. Okay. No matter what anybody else says to you, just do it. If that's what you feel guided to do, if it's time to move, move, if it's, to, you know, whatever it is, and it, just know that the, the universe is abundant and will provide for you. Just believe, you've got to believe it yourself. And if you don't just step into it and allow it to unfold to you. Yeah. So are we finished? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this message. And if you did, please give it a like and a share if you know someone that might benefit from it. Or just put it out into the ether because always know that the, the right thing will happen at the right time. And I'm not saying right or wrong, but just know that it could come in and somebody might click on it and we might say something that deeply resonates with them. So It's be all in divine timing. Yes. Indeed. It's about divine time. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And if you want to work with either of us, either have a reading done or, you know, do energy healing, uh, all that information will be below. Yeah. We love each and every one of you. Be the change that you want to see in this world and really just love yourself. Yes. Love yourself. Be yourself. Express yourself. Express <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I was getting ready to do that. Uh, all love right. It. Beautiful. All right, guys. Bye-bye.